Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you are going to learn what props is and how to use it in React. Before we begin, if you are interested in learning web development, I will be making videos on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so what is props? React is a component-based library, which means that we built a React application from many components, and some of these components are dynamic. They need to send and receive data from each other, and React provides a way to handle this communication between components, which is called as props. So props is a special word in React, which stands for properties. It can be passed to components like passing arguments to a function, and we will see that very soon. And the other important things are that Props can only be used in a unidirectional flow, in other words, in one way from parent components to child components. And finally, props is read-only and data coming with props cannot be changed, cannot be manipulated by child components. But don't worry about these rules right now. Let me show you how to use props in an example and you will have a better understanding. Okay, so I've divided my screen as usual. On the right side is my local server and on the left side is the React application running on Visual Studio Code. If you don't know how to install React on your computer, I will make another video later and show you the installation steps. But for now, I've just put down a link below which is basically explaining how to install React on your system. You can find the link on the description part below and also there is another link for installing uh, the VS Code Editor. Okay, so our application has one parent and one child component. And the child component is rendered inside the parent component. And this is how we call a component. It is like an HTML tag, but must start with a capital letter. Okay, so what happens when I call the child component multiple times is that we will always see the same text, I am the first child, because this text is written here statically inside the child component. But what we like to do here is to assign the correct numbers to each component and we can do that by using props. Giving a property to a component is the same like assigning an attribute to an HTML element. So as the first step, we need to assign a property to the child components and define their values. Okay, so I'm assigning a property named text. You can give any name here. And then I am assigning its value. I am the first child. And then I am giving the same property to the other components, but I am changing their values like second and third. And now secondly, I need to pass props to the child component, like we are passing an argument or arguments to a function. And since the child component is an ES6 arrow function, I need to pass props here. But still, we can't see the assigned values here, because we haven't rendered it yet. In React, we render dynamic values with string interpolation. But before we do that, I would like to lock the props to the console and let's see what it returns. So the console shows us that the props is a JavaScript object. Therefore, when I need to fetch a value from the props object, I need to use the dot notation and so I can get the specific values, which is text here, that I need. Let me clear this. So finally, I need to change this static text here with interpolation and defining props and the specific property I need, which is text. And now we can see that components now renders their own property values, which exactly we have expected. So this is how we can use props in React. If you like the video, please share it. Comment down below if you have questions. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.